What a fantastic development, so unique. How on earth did it come about? We took over this site in 1998 and we were struggling to have enough space to house all the artists that were coming to us that wanted the cheapest studios in East London. Yeah. So we were looking around at various prefab solutions and because there's a surplus of shipping containers in the UK, it made sense to use them for a building structure. Uh, a lot of people with this building in particular say that it reminds them a lot of Lego. <laughs> And just like Lego, these standard containers are very quick to put together. This building, for example, took eight days no to way. install. No yeah. way. That's staggering. I mean, if you went down a kind of traditional method of construction with big foundations, brickwork walls, all of those wet trades that yeah. we're used to in the building game, something like that would take six months in yeah. terms of scale and size, at least. Yeah, and exactly. And it was up in eight days. The cost of conversion is around £950 a square metre meaning a ready-made 40 square metre studio apartment would cost a very economical £38,000 to develop, around a third cheaper than building in bricks and mortar. But what's it like living in a shipping container? Makeup artist Becky McGarren has invited me in. Morning, Becky. Hi. Hi, it's George. How are you? Nice, nice to meet you. you. Well. Becky's 40 square metre rented studio apartment is made from two containers welded together with the middle wall taken out. It's really well planned and really well thought about. You've got a little desk area next to the window over there. Yeah. Sofa there. Area for your work, I yes, imagine, over here. Yes, makeup, yeah. Your bed's in here as well. Yes, with storage again. Underneath? Yes. I think you ha with places like this, you really have to think about it, and everything you, you put in, you almost need to have cupboards under and extra space to store things. Wherever there's a gap. Yes. You fill it. Yes, you do. something. And your kitchen's in here. I wondered yes. where it was, actually. I was kind of looking for it when I came in. Yes. It's teeny. Yes. But we get everything we need in here, so it's perfect for us. You've got a dryer in here, fridge in here, oven, oven yeah. hob, sink, shelving, the lot. Yeah, and we just went for the rustic look, because that's all you can do in a small space. So just went for nice items that you'll see. Because yeah. you just haven't got room to put in too many cupboards and stuff. And to give everyone an idea of just how small it is in this place, look where the sound man is. Hello, mate. <laughs> in the shower. We can't fit everyone in. 